there guys, my name is Chris Chadong, the Born Ball Belt for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News from Update where today we're going to be discussing something very, very interesting with the go-karts at Pleasurewood Hills. Now, obviously behind the Root and Toot and Target Trail Dart Ride, which used to be known as Hobbs Pit, there is a go-karts attraction. Well, not for long, because the recent pictures from Pleasurewood Maniacs, big shout out to them for the pictures that I use in this video, um, basically, the go-karts is gone and the area has been fenced off and from the looks of the site, it's quite a big site. So we're going to be discussing the future of the site, what I could see in this park and also what kind of things could we realistically expect. So not just what I want to see, what could we realistically expect on that site in the next couple of years. So before we get started, here is how you guys can interact with the channel. If you've loved this video, make sure you hit the like button below. Make sure you also comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the video topic. And also make sure you subscribe to Coach Chal YouTube channel for more. And click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share the channel with your friends, your family and our social media. And make sure you also comment down below your video suggestions which will be saved. Your shout outs which will be saved for the next day's videos. And also make sure you send in your merchandise continuously on Instagram and Snapchat. The links for both are in the description down below and I'll save your merchandise pictures with your name and location for the next merchandise showcase video. Also make sure you get your questions in the comments down below. Use the hashtag question before or after your question and they will be saved for our 2000 subscriber Q&A. Also guys make sure you reach that subscriber goal of 10,000 subs in the next 365 days and counting. If we do that I will release Coaster Channel merch merchandise on a new website as well as other projects I've got planned for the long-term future. Let's get into another thrilling video. So for those of you who need a little bit of extra information on the go-karts, it was built in 2001 by manufacturers Formula K. The park also has another attraction called Woody's Driving School but these are pedal go-karts. So the go-karts are located behind Root and Tootin Target Trail and also right near to Marble Madness. Now behind Root and Tunic Target Trail, as you can see by the map on your screen, it is a big, big sight. The next image on your screen clearly shows the area of the go-karts and the fact that it's clearly been fenced off. Now this is a great sign for me personally because when fences are around an attraction, it could potentially mean future development. And with such a bigger site, with so much creative potential and attraction potential, it really shows that like, this could be a big future site for Pleasurewood Hills theme park in Lowestoft. Now looking on Google Earth then of the go-kart site, it is a big redevelopment of the site. And you could fit a pretty neat coaster in there if you work with your surroundings. Now the site does look very compact. So if you were to add a brand new roller coaster into the site, which I'll go on about specific types in a little bit, you'd have to go for something very, very specific, something for their target market, but also something that'll still be a great ride for all thrill-seeking ages. So that, my friends, is the latest from the go-kart site of Pleasurewood Hills. Now, we've covered Pleasurewood Hills on this channel before with the Rattlesnake returning uh, as the Express, the returning of a classic attraction. Uh, and we did the whole thing there. That was the day when Thought Park announced the permanent closure of Logger's Leap. I can't believe that's been a year ago now. Uh, time flies when you're having fun on this channel and doing this for you guys and doing it for the love of the, and the passion. So thank you very much for that. Uh, but we're reporting on another closure and it's the go kart So like I said, the Google Earth image, which I showed you at the end of that little stats and facts compilation that I do every video now, um, it's very clear that um you know it's very it's quite a compact site but it's still quite a big site so what kind of coasters could you fit in that site well i am going to be looking at stuff that's not just coasters as well don't don't worry uh non-coaster fans but i think to be honest there's only two coaster types really that i can see coming into this site and that is um a raptor or some kind of small um, wooden coaster. Now, you know, Gravity Group would be a great coaster manufacturer for Pleasurewood Hills. Um, you know, loads of great small parks around the world like Sesame Place, even though they're owned by SeaWorld, you know, they are still a small park. Uh, they invested in a Gravity Group with Oscar's Wacky Taxi a couple of years ago. So, 
you know, it's not out of the realms of possibility to have a smaller part like Pleasurewood Hills on the grand scale of the UK um, invest in, you know, a um, Gravity Group wooden coaster. RMC Raptors. Now, I know what you're saying. Oh, you just want that because you want an RMC in the UK. I could actually see a Raptor in this country. And the way I see it is because Railblazer is apparently really cheap. Uh, apparently, I, was, I read somewhere, I think it was on Reddit or somewhere, it was $4 million US dollars. But I'm not sure how true that is. But I think if a water park in South Dakota can get a Raptor on the budget, then. You know, anyone can get a Raptor. You know, even Lightwater Valley can get a Raptor. Even Flambards could get a Raptor in the UK. If a water park in South Dakota can get a Raptor, then anyone can. So, I think that a Raptor would be a great fit for Pleasurewood Hills. I think they've got more money in the bank, especially with the people that, that own the park. Um, I think they can bring in a Raptor. Now, if I was to go with a bonus option, number three, and I replied to their post, Pleasure World Maniacs post on this on Facebook, this, I have a gut feeling it could be G-Force. Now, for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, G-Force is a Marison X-Car roller coaster that operates at Drayton Manor Theme Park in Tamworth. It was um, removed piece by piece only last year. Um, gone back to the factory to get it all refurbished and things like that. And then uh, we don't know where it's going. We have no idea where it's going. I think it's still up for sale somewhere on the website. No one put the link of the website in the description down below. Uh, but you don't have to send me the link or anything. But there's potential that it's still up for sale. So if GeForce was to come to Pleasurewood Hills, it wouldn't be the worst decision ever. But I think there could be better options out there. So, you know, I think send GeForce somewhere else if it is going to be GeForce uh, coming. But I think that when you look at the logistics of it, G-Force wouldn't be a bad fit for that site. Especially since there's other sites in the park where you could put a different type of coaster. But I think G-Force should be either in a different site, and I showed you in a video actually, um, a previous video on Pleasurewood Hills, where G-Force could go in the, in the park. And I think it did like a Google Earth where I merged the G-Force Google Earth image with the Pleasurewood Hills one. So... I, I can't remember what site it was, but it was somewhere on... I think it was replacing Time Travel, uh, Tide Traveller, uh, which is their old flat ride, their TriStar ride. Um, that would be a better site than the Go-Karts. I think the Go-Karts would be a better place for something else. Um, if I could find out some other options, maybe a Matt Big Dipper would be nice if they weren't too expensive. Um, what I'd also like to see is one of these... Um, Sky Rocket 2s, um, like Superman Ultimate Flight at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, um, Sky Scream at Holiday Park in Germany, the Zombie Ride at Bosque Unicos, I think it's called in Mexico. Can't remember the name of the park exactly, but I know it's called the Zombie Ride or Zombie Ride. Um, now, I definitely think that that would work because it's a compact coaster, it works in the the blueprint of the site and I think it would be a great way to do some nice theming around it um, but we'll see what happens I guess we'll just see what happens um, so thank you very much guys for watching this theme park news update from Pleasurewood Hills massive shout out once again to Pleasurewood Maniacs for the pictures from them that were taken yesterday uh, and we'll just see what happens really I mean rest in peace go karts 2001 to 2020 um, you know um, nearly 20 years of operation is great for a go-karts attraction, especially, you know, go-karts are usually for the resort side of things. They're not really a theme park attraction nowadays, so they usually get replaced by something anyway. So I think it was on its last legs, in my opinion. So it's nice to have uh, the go-karts replaced now, but it's nice that it survived for nearly 20 years. So great historic attraction for Pleasurewood Hills, and I'm very, very happy with that. So... Thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park news from update. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chow, Kill on the Coast Life. I'm going to record my Cedar Fair predictions videos, and then I'm going to watch some Deal or No Deal. Thank you very much, guys. Take care. Have an awesome day.